for this video, we have a piece of plexiglass glass that's about an inch thick. And we're going to start with 22 caliber and go up from there and see what it takes to penetrate it. Uh, looks like it chipped it, but there's no penetration. Now we'll graduate to 38 special. So here we have a Smith & Wesson Model 19 357 Magnum. I'm running some 38 special notes through it. So these are 158 grain lead round notes. Doesn't look like it did too much. Let's get a closer look. I basically hit it in the same place I hit the 22, and it still didn't penetrate, it barely cracked it, and then the bullet strikes over here did nothing pretty much. So yeah, um, 38 caliber did nothing to this plexiglass. Now graduating up the power scale, we're going to go ahead with 1911 and 45 ACP. That was cool. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we have to the big cowboys have to do a two-round limit. <laughs> or left and left. Oh, that was cool. We're gonna see what happens when we step it up a notch to 357 Magnum. All right, so now we're gonna shoot the Springfield 40 cal, some PMC 165 range, 1200 feet per second. So since 45 and 40 went right through, I'm guessing 357 Magnum is going to do the same thing. But you know what? I brought it, so we're going to go ahead and use it. <laughs> okay, so I think a two and three quarter inch rifle slug will finish it off very nicely through the Mossberg 590. Listen up.